Hello there, NFL Fanatics, it's your hoster, once again, it is Rai Rai, and there's that time once again for the NFL picks. Now before I give you the picks for a brand new week, for week number two, I'll let you know how I did in week number one last week. I was 10 and 6, not too shabby to kick off that brand new NFL season. Okay, a lot of close games, some of them were, were blowouts, and all oh, who blah. That's all part of the game, okay? I think I did pretty decent in week one for pick them, 10 and 6. I should be very, very proud of myself. But hopefully it continues the whole entire season. Like I said last year, if you listen to my, my picks last season, it's very, very difficult to pick the good ones. And you gotta pick some upsets too, you know? Underdogs. So let's get this thing rock and rolling. Oh, forgot to mention, I'm going solo on these picks. No guest. Because I guess my guest, whoever I try to get, is very busy. He never got back with me. So hopefully in week three, I'll have a guest. If not, I go solo once again. So let's do this. For week number two. Hold on. Okay, there I go. Tonight for Thursday night football. It's the Buffalo Bills will be at home versus the New York Jets. This is the division rival. This is the first time they are meeting this season. Um, Buffalo had not been to the... Super Bowl since the early 90s. That been so many years ago. Four years in a row, back in the day, they were they went to Super Bowl, they were 0 and 4 in Super Bowl history. I think that's the only time the NFL team went to Super Bowl, they lost four years in a row to the same darn team, the Dallas Cowboys. Now the New York uh, Jets, they had not been to Super Bowl since the glory years of that franchise, Joe Namath. You guys remember him, probably. And um, I'm going with the Jets. Everyone is happy that I picked the Jets. Whoever support the Jets, said thank you, Rai Rai, thank you for the support. You are very welcome. Let's see what I do this week. Last week, they lost. You know? They better win some win. They better get some wins very soon because very soon they got to play the Patriots, the Dolphins. I know they're playing Buffalo, but you know I'm going with this, but I wish all the Jets fans a lot of luck with their team this season. If they if that team could stay healthy, that's the key, healthy. Sorry, I'm rambling. So I'm going with the Jets for tonight. Next matchup, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns. If you don't know the history, about the two franchises, look it up on Wikipedia. Um, Cleveland, it's a total mess. They lost their starting QB, RG3. It's going to be out for a while, so I don't know who's their backup. It don't matter. The total mess. So I'm going to the Ravens. The Ravens looked pretty good last week for week one. So I'm going to the um, Baltimore Ravens. Next matchup, the Detroit Lions will be home versus the Tennessee Titans. I'm going with Tennessee. Next matchup. The New England Patriots will be at home versus the Miami Dolphins. Now, Tom Brady is suspended still. And the tight end, uh, Rotrowski, out due to injury. And they still won last week. Is that weird? Go figure. The back of a quarterback for the Patriots did very good last Sunday night. That was a very, very good game. Like I, I mean, I saw some of it. Not the whole thing. I was watching other things on TV. That was a very good game. Came down to crunch time. I love those games, crunch time. So I'm going to Patriots. I know a lot of people still like hate the Patriots. Some people love the Patriots. You know, take or leave it. They're a very, very good team. And then when Tom Brady come back, he's gonna probably kick some butt, take names. You know. But that's all I gotta say. Okay, next matchup: Eli and the New York Giants will be home versus Drew Brees and New Orleans Saints. Now the Saints are not very good on their road. Usually, but maybe this year will be a different story. But I'm going with Eli 
and the New York Giants. Now, Eli and the Giants were not that great last year, you know. They lost some great players, you know, injury. That's all part of the game. They still get paid regardless. Um, not an Eli fan, Eli Manning fan. I don't, I don't like the, the brothers. They're overrated. You can agree with me or disagree with me. I don't care. You know, everyone have their own opinion. But I think his older brother is way better than Eli. Sorry, Eli fans. Okay, next matchup. The Pittsburgh Steelers will be home for the Cincinnati Bengals. This is another divisional game. Pittsburgh won last Monday to destroy Washington Redskins. I don't care for watching that game. I had a feeling they're going to win. So this should be a good game. I'm going with the Steelers. But you never know. Let's see what happens on Sunday. Next matchup, the Washington Redskins will be at home for the Dallas Cowboys. Another divisional game. I'm going with Washington. Washington needs to bounce back. Well, Dallas needs to bounce back too. I think they lost last week. Heck, I don't know. I can't keep track. Next matchup, the Carolina Panthers will be at home versus the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going with Carolina. I know the Niners won last week. That's a shocker. Um, so I'm going with Carolina. They won the Super Bowl last week. Uh, not last week, I'm sorry. Last year. Uh, I thought they were going to get revenge on Denver. That was a very good game. Way better than this past Super Bowl. Um, they missed a what 50-yard field goal to win the game. That was an awesome game. Next matchup, the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets, I'm talking about basketball. Sorry, I messed up. The Houston Texans will be home versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Houston beat my Bears. Bears look good in the, in the first half, second half. I don't know what happened. But I'm not giving up on the Bears. Don't ever give up on your team, NFL fanatics, if you really support your team. Um, I'm going Houston. Next matchup, the Seattle Seahawks versus the Versus the LA Rams, the Los Angeles Rams. They recently moved to back to um, LA this past offseason. It's a long story. Eventually, they're gonna get a brand new stadium. Right now, they're using a um, I think about college stadium. So I'm going to Seattle. Seattle is very good, especially uh, on the road last year. I don't know how they're gonna do this year. So let's see what happens. They got a great defense. They got an awesome quarterback. I think the starting quarterback is gonna be out for Sunday. But let's see what happens. I can't keep track. Okay, next matchup. The Arizona Cardinals will be home versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see here. Tampa Bay won last week. I don't think they're going to win. I'm going with um, Arizona. Next matchup. The Denver Broncos. I don't know who their quarterback is. Probably some rookie. Will be at home versus the Indianapolis coach. Andrew Luck can come down with the Colts. Let's see if the Colts could upset Denver. Um, next matchup, the Oakland Raiders will be at home versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going with Oakland. Oakland looked pretty good in week one. So, it's a long season. So, if your team won last week, don't panic. I mean, you should be happy they won last week. But one game does not make you a playoff contender. It's a long, darn season, okay? Okay, next matchup. The San Diego Chargers will be at home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going with the Chargers. I heard the Chargers are going to get a new stadium down the road, so that is excellent. They're going to stay in San Diego, hopefully, if nothing changes. Next matchup, Aaron, um, Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Vikings got a brand new stadium. I think this, is, this will be the first time you can see them on TV. I think it will be on TV. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, that's Sunday Night Football. Oh my gosh, I made a mistake. Of course, that stadium looks awesome. So, I'm assuming my ex-boss will go down there and check out the game. I'm not too sure if he's going this Sunday or whatever. He's a huge Viking fan. So, speaking of night games, the Chicago Bears. First home game of the 2016 season versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the Bears lost last Sunday. That was a very, very um, good first half of the Bears, like I said earlier in this video, or podcast, or audio version, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was not too happy in the second half, but Philly is very young, so I love to see the Bears win, so 
I'm going with the Bears for an upset pick. Watch if you were wrong again. Actually, I was right last because I picked Houston to win. So that is it. Thus, my picks. That's my recap, my picks. Now, the percentages about these games for week two. So if you going to play some bets with your friends, family, or play some bets in Vegas. So here goes. Sit back and relax. Listen to this very, very carefully. Hopefully, it'll mess up. Okay, for tonight's game, 57% Buffalo, 53% uh, Jets, Ravens, Cleveland, 95% Baltimore, Cl uh, Cleveland, 5%, wow, Detroit, Tennessee, 9%, Tennessee, 10%, um, Patriots in New England, 91% Patriots, 9% Miami Giants Saints 68% Giants and 30% Saints Pittsburgh um, Pittsburgh Cincinnati 88% Pittsburgh 12% Cincinnati Washington Dallas 52% Washington 48% Washington I'm sorry I messed up there 52% Washington 48% 48% Washington God darn it, sorry 52% Washington 48% Dallas There you go, sorry I messed up Like 6 times already Okay, Carolina, Niners 95% Carolina 5% Giants Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me today? Sorry 95% Carolina 5% um, Niners There you go Houston, Kansas City, 51% Kansas City, 49% Houston, Seattle, and Los Angeles Rams. 94% Seattle, 6% LA. Denver, Colts, 83% Denver, 70% Colts. Oakland, Atlanta, 86% Oakland, 42%, 42, 14% Atlanta. Jacksonville, um, J uh, San Diego, and Jacksonville, 62% Chargers, 38% Jacksonville, Green Bay, Minnesota matchup, 88% Green Bay, 12% Minnesota, that for Sunday football, and last but not least, Chicago, Philly, 40% Chicago, and 60% Philly. That wraps it up. Thank God. I kind of messed up towards the end. I'm sorry. Hopefully you still listen to this by now. If not, probably clicked already after my um, how I did last week and how I'm going to do this week. So good luck on your picks. Hopefully you enjoy these games. I don't know what games you're going to watch. If they all televised in your area, if you have the NFL package, that's awesome. If you have certain games on TV, enjoy these games. Because before you know it, NFL season will be over. It's gonna go like a snap over. And now I'm gonna be crying, crying like a river. Crying, crying, cr crying in the, cry, whatever I'm trying to say. Crying, crying? Forget about it. I'm tongue tied today. Oh Lord. So that wraps it up for this edition. Thank you for um, listening. If you like this, um, NFL picks for week two. Give me um, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And all my social media accounts are down below. Have a good one, and I talk to you later. Enjoy the game tonight if you're gonna watch it. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you next time for week number three. Good luck to your teams. Bye bye.